What's going on, everyone? It's Club Napier here once again. And, of course, I'm here with another special guest from this amazing series that's on. If you are not caught up, you need to catch up. I'm talking about From on MGM+. Plus, and I have who you all may know is Christy. It's Chloe Van Landshut. How are you, miss? How are you feeling today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm, listen, I'm enjoying this show so much. Congratulations on the season two. And... I believe that your character, Chrissy, now is so much more colorful than she was uh, in the prior se season. Um, and I want to talk to you about, I want to know, how was that transition and coming in when you found out the things that you were going to find out about who your character was this time around, especially knowing you were going to break my boy Kenny's heart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the introduction of Mary Ellen season two really holds a mirror up to Christy, you know, and that's kind of, we kind of get to know who she is through that lens. Um, we see how much she's changed, uh, how much she's transformed and what's kind of left her, what's remained the same. And Marielle is, yeah, a mirror for that. Uh, but yeah, because he's got a lot on her plate this season. <laughs> yeah. um, got a lot on her plate. And I think, again, that's we, we see that shift because so much of her humanity starts to leak through. She, she starts to lose a bit of the doctor act in a way. And uh, she, she's not able to keep it so calm, cool, and controlled anymore because, well, the arrival of Marielle would really uh, flip your world upside down and cause you to confront a lot of the things that you've suppressed. So I think that's part of her journey for sure. Yeah, I, I noticed like that your your arc, especially when Mary arrives, I knew at that moment that the season was definitely going to be going and taking some crazy turns and getting really real. Um, and I want to talk about, you know, the character Chrissy, because she's a bit of a, a fixer. She's a, a protector. And I don't necessarily think that she's, you know, she she she's a, she does that because she's a nurse. I feel like she is the way she is. And that's why she's a nurse. Um Talk about that one epic scene when you guys figure out a way. There's a weakness that you find out in these creatures, these monsters. And she kind of just comes to pieces because I feel like, you know, she, she, she felt like she needed to fix the situation and couldn't. Talk to me about that moment and what it was like to go there. Yeah, I think up to that point, we she's had she's had to euthanize somebody. She's saved Alice's life. She's had to do a blood trans. She's had to blood transfuse. She watched. She watched Boyd kill a monster and eliminate worms and transfer the worms over. She's seen all of this insanity, navigating uh, Mariel's withdrawal, guilty for not noticing it right away, guilty for just existing, and uh, completely devastated when she can't find the answer. I think so much of her identity is wrapped up in, in having an answer, and that's where like so much of her source of existing comes from. Um, so when you have that loss of control, that that inability to figure it out, uh, compounding everything else that she's just been dealing with, it's just coming to the surface. I think kind of the the lead into that was was seeing how ill Marielle really was, then fighting with Kenny uh, outside. And then just not being able to figure out what the hell is going on, not expecting this thing to be useless to her medically. So she she pops the lid off, you know, as humans do when you when you're just had enough. And it's so interesting because a byproduct of her finally allowing to have a big, deep feeling is something useful. So, so it's really interesting. Yeah, it's such a build up. It's such a buildup, yeah. and and I and I really hope that at some point we see someone be there for her, because there's always like a lot of a taking and her giving, uh, even with the Kenny situation. I think at that moment she kind of broke. Uh, she was upset when he was upset, but it was like a disappointment thing because it looked like he was looking for something from you, uh, in that in that moment. Oh yeah, Christy was not really having any of it. She's like, "You're really gonna have this conversation with me now? Like, do you have any idea what's going on? Like, this is ridiculous." Like, I think she was just like, "She's like, I can't do this right now. Why are you saying this now?" But of course, that's exactly when you say those things in real life. Like, it's never a good time. It's always something. So it, it's perfect. So I want I want to ask you. This is for me and the fans because we love we love the series and we love Chrissy. What what are you excited the most for the fans to see? Uh, come, I think we got like two, three, what, three four more episodes left. What are you excited for the fans to see about the Chrissy character going forward from the, to the end of the, the season? 
Yeah, I think watching her completely break in episode seven is will be refreshing <laughs> in a way. I think watching someone be have it together and then not have it together is always interesting to watch. Uh, but then also watching her come to again in episode nine and have to kind of go back to caretaker mode that kind of wave of it, of, of it all is interesting but yeah I'm, I'm excited that fans get to see way more of Christie's humanity this season than the first season and yeah episode 10 there's a some special moments as well so and nine is pretty crazy it's all crazy let's get real yeah we're talking about from here I, <laughs> every every episode is crazy every moment I I want to thank you for talking to me. You guys, make sure you're checking out From every Sunday, 9 p.m., MGM+. Plus. Chloe, I want to thank you again for taking the time to talk with us. It's been an honor. Thanks, Keith. See you later.